let us now come to a new topic tender it is an invitation from the owner to the contractor to execute some work at specified cost in specified time it is published in the form of tender notice in newspapers notice boards gazettes etc according to the cost of the works classification of tenders open tender it is an oral talk or written document between the engineer and the contractor for certain small jobs to be performed sometimes it is advertised seal tender these are invited for some important or huge projects wide publicity is given and also written always in documents which are made limited tender only a selected number of contractors are invited to quote their rates single tender it is an invitation given to only one firm to render a service by quoting their rates if the quoted rates are high it will be negotiated prior to the agreement of the contract rate contract usually adopted for supply of materials machine tools and plant it specifies the supply at a fixed rate during the period of contract the quantities are not mentioned in type of contract and the contractor is bound to accept any order which would be placed before him now for a contract to be valid there must be an offer from the owner in the form of tender notice to get some specified work to be executed and there must be an acceptance from the contractor to execute the particular work and both the offer and the acceptance must be definite and legal procedure for inviting a tender first point preparation of tender documents second point issue of notice inviting tender or tender call notice third point submission and opening of tenders and the scrutiny fourth point acceptance of tender and award of contract information to be given in a tender notice first name of the department inviting the particular tender second name of the work and the location third designation of officer inviting the particular tender fourth last date and time of receipt of tender five period of availability of tender document six cost of tender document seven time of completion and the type of contract eight earnest money deposit to be paid nine date time and place of opening of the particular tender 10 designation of the officer opening the particular tender information to be given in a tender document first general conditions of tender second schedule of items of work with clear specifications third special conditions point number 1 the notice inviting tender in specified form like pwd 6 point number 2 layout plan and the location of the work point number 3 division in which location is situated number 4 schedule of quantities of the particular work number 5 nearest road or railway link number 6 set of drawings including working drawings number 7 availability of materials in the vicinity number 8 detail specifications or reference to standard specifications for each item of work 
Number nine, complete architectural and structural drawings. Number ten, schedule of stores to be issued by the owner of the project, indicating the rates and their place of supply. Number eleven, schedule of tools and plant and other facilities to be made available by the owner, indicating the conditions, higher charges and place of delivery. Number twelve, rate of supply of power and the point of supply. Number thirteen, location of water supply point. Number fourteen, time for completion and the progress to be made at intervals of time. Number fifteen, conditions regarding employment of technical personnel. Number sixteen, weather conditions in that particular area. Number seventeen, amount of EMD. at the form in which it is to be paid number 18 insistence on income tax and sales tax clearance certificate number 19 amount of security deposit to be paid or deducted from running bills of contractors should be notified in the particular tender call notice number 20 mode of payment of the particular work done number 21 power to reject tenders without assigning reasons 22 penalty conditions for slow progress and delay in the completion of the particular work number 23 designation of arbitration authority in case of disputes short tender notice when work is to be completed very quickly or no contractor prefers to accept the work that is the particular tender is floated then a notice with short duration is again published by the client such a tender notice is called short tender notice the terms and conditions remains the same as that for ordinary tender notice quotation for small jobs the owner or the engineer gives an offer to the contractor for quoting rates for works and supplies required no emd is required with a quotation earnest money deposit it is the particular amount of money to be deposited along with the tender document to the department by the contractors quoting a tender this money is a guarantee against the refusal of any contractor to take up the work after the acceptance of the tender in the case of refusal this amount is fortified emd of contractors whose tenders are not accepted will be refunded 1% to 2% of the estimated cost of work is the earnest money deposit liquidated damages it is an amount of compensation payable by a contractor to the owner due to delayed construction this amount of compensation is not related with real damage this does not relieve the contractor from his obligations and liabilities under the particular contract in case if a part of the project a premise is used by the owner before its completion the amount to be paid is reduced in proportion to the value of the part that has been utilized after issuing the certificate of occupancy unliquidated damages it is an amount of compensation payable when a contract is broken the party who suffers such a breach is entitled to receive this amount from the party who has broken the contract so now let us look at at last what is form price and form period sometimes owner about the work at a form price or fixed rate as the labor wages and materials 
cost increases, it is advisable to provide escalation and overrun compensation. Firm period is nothing but the duration of time over which the firm price is valid.